Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream of Riot Girl Radio, or whatever the hell she's calling herself now, but most everybody just calls her Honey Boo Boo. At any rate, she is telling her life story. So basically, she's going to tell everybody how she became a frauditor, or why she became a frauditor. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. What do you guys think? So, I've talked to a lot of different auditors. All the ones that you guys watch and love, too. And, um, everybody said, don't, don't let them intimidate you into stopping. Don't let them, don't let them tie you down. Don't let them do that to you because that's exactly what they want. They're trying to intimidate you so that you stop. So, I'm not gonna stop. Not now, not ever. If Long Island Audit can do it for four years, if Direct D could do it for four years, Auditing America, Press NH Now, First Amendment Rights, the J-Town Press, um, Joey Surreal Camera, Surreal Cam, Grow With a Camera, um, I don't know, everybody, you like, I don't know, I don't know what, I'm not sure what to do. You know, honey boo boo? There's an old saying, you are the company that you keep. In other words, you're dealing with a bunch of criminal scumbags who have records a mile long. And, well, if that's what you want to become, then that's who, sh who you shall become. But if you want to be something bigger in life, well, I suggest you hang around better people. But of course, you being as old as you are, I doubt that you'll ever learn that. Because um, it seems like I wasn't thinking fast enough and that's why I got arrested twice. Because when I'm editing the video, I can see the arrest coming just like you can. And you're probably like, girl, just run, just get out of there. And I think like too slow and I don't leave fast enough. So I don't leave fast enough and because I'm not like that and I'm asking questions and trying to have a conversation with the police officers about what I've done wrong when I've committed no crime. But at the same time, I feel like I kind of lost my way. Well, I would definitely call you stupid and a slow learner because if you're doing things that get the cops called on you and arrested frequently, then you are definitely doing something wrong with your life because at no point in your life should you really be getting into contact with police this much in your life. So you are really doing something wrong here. But I think your whole life's been that way. So let's continue on with her sad story. Yeah, I'm on Xanax. I've got lots of problems. I have chronic PTSD. From 16 years of abuse by my father, and then 5 years of abuse by my ex-husband. I was with him for 5 years, from 16 to 21, until I got the courage to leave. I've been through a lot of shit. No, maybe I'm not the best person to do this, but you know what? I can't sit back and do nothing. I can't sit back and watch the corruption video after video after video, just like you guys. Jessica, you really need a reality check. I mean, yeah, I, there are other people that have gone through what you're going through and still been productive members of, of society. My mother, my own mother, was a victim of child abuse. Her father was the abuser. And then she married two men prior to my father who were both abusive to her and when, when she divorced them both thank thankfully she met my father who never laid a hand on her and well she ended up having so many issues of depression and everything like that it ended up dying of uh, well a drug overdose 13 years into their marriage. And I didn't even find out about all this abuse until years later whenever I talked to uh, her mother about it. You know what? 
now that I don't know what to do and I have no clue what I'm doing or how to follow through with shit or how to... I can't get a lawyer to represent me. I had one and I should have just taken it. But he wanted not just 25% of any money that I recover from suing Pennsylvania State Police. He wanted, I think, 40, 40% of anything that I get from what I went through. And I didn't take it because I thought, you know what? I believed all that you guys did. I believed that there were lawyers just lined up, waiting around the corner, waiting for an infringement case, a rights violation case, a rights violation case. Oh, so now you're beginning to figure out that you've been lied to all this time. Is that right? Well, let me tell you something. You're dealing with a bunch of lying frauditors. They are going to lie to you to bring you into their circle and make sure that you are going to be their uh, fall guy. And that seems to be what is happening these days because you are just too damn gullible. I'm sick of not having free speech. We already lost that. Don't you guys see that? I know that my followers do. I know that my members do. Because I, this whole thing has made me want to give up. Because since doing it, it's caused nothing but problems in my life, right? I just got 10 years sober last year. And it means everything to me. And for the first time in, I don't know, 10 years, I had a herring, her, her, craving like no other and I wanted to break my 10 years of fucking sobriety because of what the Pennsylvania State Police did to me and I know there's no crying and auditing but you know what it's been it's not right and it's not fair yeah you're just now learning the world isn't fair the world is full of corruption the world is full of people who want to step on you. But let me ask you something. Since when have people been actually trying to take away your right to free speech? I mean, you on a almost daily basis post videos on YouTube using your freedom of speech. If this were true, that your rights were, be, were being taken away, then your videos would be automatically taken down like they would be in North Korea and you would be sent to a concentration camp. So don't talk about being persecuted when you have no idea what it's like to be persecuted. So I'm not ashamed of crying. I'm not ashamed of being upset. I'm not ashamed of being fed up. And I wish that other people were too. And I didn't feel like the only person out here doing this for the right reasons. And yeah, I'm a girl. And yeah, I'm over 40, but I'm not 50. Like all these, like these stupid channels, like Fraud at Rankler and Fraud at Trolling. Like I don't listen to what I don't watch it, but it's hard not to see the comments that are written that are from hate. And it's hard when they take little clips of my lives where I cry or whatever and call me these stupid names when they don't have the guts to do anything. They don't have the guts to do anything except sit on their ass all day and make money off of my hours and hours and hours of video. Oh, boo hoo hoo, honey boo boo. I mean, come on now. If you uh, put yourself out there on social media, you're bound to get, uh, well, made fun of by a lot of people. So suck it up, Buttercup. All of us content creators have to deal with the issue of, well, people not liking us, people may not making fun of us. If you can't, ha if you don't have a thick skin, you shouldn't be in YouTube or any other form of social media get over it oh and uh honey boo boo for the record i have a job outside of youtube that makes me plenty of money my also youtube makes me plenty of money so i am able to support myself on what i make on youtube 
and my job. So I'm not going away anytime soon, so you can count on more videos coming out about you and your other moron, moronic friends. And it's really hard when I reach out to like the biggest auditors there are, and they have PR teams, and they have a full camera crew, and they make it look like they're going in on their freaking cell phone, and they're not. They have a full camera crew. Long Island Audit has a PR team telling him what to do. Do you realize that? Do you guys realize this? Like, I didn't. I didn't realize any of this. When I started auditing, all the big auditors told me, don't let anybody talk you out of this, Jess. Don't let anybody do that. And now here I am four months later and I'm not sure how to deal with any of this because no lawyer wants to go after Pennsylvania State Police. No lawyer wants to go after any police. Well now, honey boo boo, if you were not quote mining all the damn time, misunderstanding the laws and uh, well acting like a general dumbass the whole time, maybe you find a lawyer who would actually back you up if you had actual facts to your cases. But nope, you keep on finding out that lawyers won't take your cases. Why? Because you have no basis for a lawsuit. You have no damages. You cry about civil rights violations where there are none. You dumbass. Get over it. No lawyer wants to be associated with that. So I have to represent myself. I've I've written to every big auditor there is and the ones that have written me back, thank you very much because there have been. I have gotten a lot of support uh, from Here's the Deal, uh, the J Tom Press, Press NH Now. Um, I'm trying to say we're keen by transparency. He has talked to me a couple times and helped. So I can't say that he hasn't. But it's hard and it's frustrating being out here. Especially when I'm like the only other woman really doing it and I don't really have any other women to talk to. What about Regan Bennettson? What about a uh, sweaty audits? What about a uh, girl with the camera? What about all the other female frauditors that well are listed out there but you just haven't uh, taken the time to look them up? I mean, if you would actually uh get your head out of your ass and figure out that you're not the only woman out there doing this. Stop trying to play the victim. And I really wanted to talk to Joey Surreal because I needed help and I need to know what to do and how to represent myself. And no one ever told me that like, I would have to learn how to be my own lawyer. Excuse me. I'm sorry for crying. I'm sorry. I'm just human. I just am. I'm sorry. So I wanted to talk to Joey Surreal and, um, his girlfriend is a girl with a camera and I actually spoke to her instead and we had a really, really long talk for hours and hours and her and my life are really, really similar. Um, both of our first tyrants were our fathers. That's why uh, we go after tyrants now. Okay, so now you're punishing all these DMVs and every other post office and everything else like that because your father abused you okay so you're lashing out at other people because you were a victim and you want to make sure other people are victims is that right i'm saving every penny for a lawyer because lawyers want two thousand dollars down and three hundred dollars an hour and that's for the cheap ass ones the good lawyers start at 500 an hour and want five thousand dollars down so yeah that that per perhaps that's something you should have looked into before you started acting like a complete moron and going out to dmvs getting them shut down over your own stupidity and getting arrested because of your own uh, ignorance of the law and it's going to cost you in the end well at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one